I've been dancing since I was eight years old in the bear dance arena, but I'm Navajo, and when I married into Eldine's tribe, um, it just seemed like a natural thing for me to be able to go out. And the shawl's been, was gifted to me by Eldine's cousin sister, Mary Jane Yazzie. And she gave it to me when I reached a milestone in my life. And what I know of this shawl is it was gifted to her from another family member. So I'm the third person to receive it. So when she gave it to me, she gave it to me um, without anything on it. And it was just a pink shawl. So I took it and I had an iron on put on it and I, li I liked it. And if you've ever been to a bear dance, you see all these beautiful women with their shawls. And in each of those shawls, they have a different design on it. When I go to different workshops and I teach kids about bear dancing, I always tell them, because I take all of my shawls and I share with them and they get to wear my shawls, and when they do do that, I tell them, when you're dancing with my shawl, you're giving me a little bit of my ener your energy. So when I go into the bear dance arena, then your energy flows through me and gives me that extra oomph, you know, to be able to finish the dance. So I always leave that thought with them. <laughs> I always tell my grandkids that anything that I wear traditionally when I'm wearing it will never be buried with me because I don't want it to be. I want these things to be handed down and I want them to tell stories about me. Remember when she used to dance or remember when she was at this age and she fell down in the bear dance arena <laughs> and you know so on and so forth so they'll tell those stories and that's what I want these items to be is to be carried on and those stories continue to be told about me 